so welcome back to my channel um thanks for joining me i'm going to be talking about the march fairy loot box today um this one i did again spur of the moment because i've just been doing single orders as opposed to a subscription um this month's theme was memorable moments and it was the second anniversary of fairy loot being a company and doing boxes so this one was a little bit exciting because this one was in a purple box as opposed to the black box and it was uh yeah a little bit more about their anniversary and i had never heard of this book that i got so that was exciting and i've never actually read anything by the author either so um, yeah, I'm very excited to try out the book and see more about the author. Um, let's get into the unboxing. Here it is, the purple fairy loot box. It pretty much is exactly the same as the black ones, except a very pretty purple color. Um, so yeah, when we first open it up, we again are shown the uh, spoiler card uh, again drawn by the lovely Tara Spruitt which reflects the theme and has all of the items that are in the box and descriptions and who they are made by. Uh, we have the exclusive Goblet of Fire Candle by Paper Flames Candle Company. Uh, it's unscented, so it doesn't have any scent, but it looks very pretty. Then from Geeky Clean, we have the Bilbo's Birthday Cake Vegan Soap Bar super cute it smells delicious it's vanilla and strawberry scented and we have toast to the warden of the north which is a hot chocolate by eponine and is an homage to Jon snow then from paladome we have the cork bunting so it's a little little cork flags and they have pins and i'm Definitely know what I'm going to be doing with this. Then the pill, pin from Belle. And from Fiction Tea Designs, we have a rune ceremony scarf. This was inspired by the Mortal Instruments and Shadowhunter books by Cassandra Clare. Uh, it's super lightweight, it's super pretty, and I cannot wait to wear this. A Bell's bookmark. Now on to the main event, the book. There's always so many goodies inside a little bag with it, which is so exciting. So we have the buddy card from Fairy Loot. We have the monthly bookmark, which is a smaller version of the theme spoiler card alert. Uh, we have the book plate for the author signature. And we were given a postcard with the cover of the book on it, which is awesome because I use a lot of postcards, so I will definitely be using this. This one's slightly different than normal. It's like quite large, the author letter, and she even did little designs and stuff and definitely had a lot of information about the book and what she likes from it. The fairy scoop, Memorable Moments, was also bigger than normal. It had the timeline of their company from their start to now, the interview with the author, which was, is like normal but it seems longer it also has um the instagram challenges that they do the what to read next as well as awesome photos from photo challenge winners uh, they also had the interview with the owners of the company and their 
Hogwarts things, a crossword puzzle, uh, interview with Tara, who does the theme cards, as well as uh, booktubers to watch, lots of images from Instagram. And books that we should read. I have actually read most of these other than Infernal Devices. So I definitely recommend reading all of those. And Winners and all of the books that were featured last year. And of course, next month's theme, which has already passed because I'm so far behind on this. So the book we got was State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury, and it's a super pretty cover. I don't know if this is any different from what you can buy in store. Um, I know that there are some differences because this is a UK book box, so this will be the UK version of the book. Um, so which is also exciting because I don't get those being in Canada, I get the US versions. Uh, nothing super exciting about the inside of the book, but other, otherwise I like the, the lining of it and it feels really nice. Uh, the back plate with the, about the author. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this one. Again, I don't really have any favorites from this box. Uh, I think everything is great. The cork bunting was a super cute touch. I definitely like those kinds of things. I know exactly where I'm going to put it, except that it's not made yet. So eh, that's on my DIY list of things to do. Um, the roof scarf is very pretty and really lightweight. So it's it'll be nice to wear in the spring, I think. And of course, Candles are always such a big, a huge hit when it comes to these types of boxes, which I enjoy. Um, and who doesn't love hot chocolate? I definitely will be curling up with a, the cup of hot chocolate while I read this book. I know it's already, what, what, April and I still haven't started the book yet, but like I said, things have been busy, but I think this will be on my next to read list. I still actually haven't read the book for the Owl Crate February from the Owl Crate February box either, which is the Hazelwood. Um, but I go through phases of reading sometimes. So let's hope that with summer coming up a little bit, I'll be able to read outside a bit more when I go to push my baby on a swing in a park. Everything that was mentioned in the video, I have linked to the artist down below as well as in my blog post. Um, if you want to hit me up on social media, I all my links are down there as well. Uh, feel free to subscribe if this interested you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Hopefully. Bye.